Hey guys, I'm actually doing a repair on a riding mower transmission. It's an aluminum case and I'm going to aluma weld it. Or technically it's actually called brazing. And I have this uh, KT aluminum brazing rod. I'm sure you how to do it. It's the same stuff, you know, Harbor Freight sells it as aluminum weld. There's a couple other sites that sell that aluminum, aluma weld or something to that effect. It's not technically ever welding, it's actually brazing and there's a, there's a quite the technique to actually make this stuff work. It's not like a typical welding rod where you can actually just put it on there, supply heat to it, you know, with a torch or something to that effect and lay down a bead. It's completely different. Let me show you. Here it is all pulled out. You can see this is actually where it mounts to the frame and it is split. It's actually hollow but we're gonna get it back together. So I got it all cleaned up but um, I noticed that I actually had a crack starting all the way through here so I ground it out a little bit created a channel and then I ground fresh aluminum around the edges all throughout there do the same on the inside um, there's another little crack somewhere where oh down here it's starting to crack just a little bit just on this um, upper casing but I have my broken piece ground um, I need to hold it to it and what I'm going to use is I'm just going to use some bailing wire so just happen to have some holes to line up pretty good so we're just going to put those through and I'm going to pull it nice and tight with my wire binding tool if you didn't see me make this in my other video I'll put the link I'll put the link up here right now but this will cinch this on here super tight, exactly where it broke. And let's lock it. Lock it in. There we go. That's on there. Nice and tight. So it'll get a nice good um it'll get a nice good repair. So I actually got these going on the barbecue. And the reason is is unlike steel where you can just heat up one little area and you can weld it or braze it or whatever. Aluminum transfers heat so fast that if you try to heat up one area, by the time you get this, to, you try to apply this um, brazing rod, it's already cooled off and spread the heat. So you need to heat up the entire, virtually the entire piece, you know, to be able to actually use this stuff. The other thing is you cannot um, tack weld with this. Um, your pieces need to be where they're going to be because once you get it up to temperature, you're going to apply this, and it's just going to flow almost like solder or something to that effect. So it's just going to flow out onto it so you need them held together or you know clamped together sitting together or something to that effect. I'm just I need to get these up to you know the melting point of aluminum is about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the melting point in this rod is only about 730 something. Um, so but I need to get these up as close to possible. The grill is probably going to get them up to probably about 400 degrees 500 degrees and then I'm able to use the torch to get in there and get it the rest of the way. I'm just heating up the whole area until I see this start melting on its own. I'm not without the heat. And then I can, without the heat on it, Once it starts flowing, it's flowing. There we go. Um, it's never the prettiest because, especially when you're doing two sides, because when you flip it over and you heat up the other side, the other side just wants to kind of run out and separate. But um, I mean, there I got it all ground down. There's a little bit of a divot there, but you know, it'll it'll hold. I just want to show you guys what repairs I did do. This is a uh, electric random orbit sander, and you can see where I did. You can't see all the way in there. There's one side. There's the other side. But this is a, uh, a weighted flywheel that counteracts the vibration, and this was completely cracked in half. It was two pieces, and I did this, and I have close to uh, 20 to 30 hours of sanding on this without any troubles. I also did. Um, this is a. Uh, a really nice Bosch jigsaw, but 
the front I was going a little too aggressive leaning on this front edge as I was jigsawing and I snapped that right off and this is about a forty fifty dollar plate just right here so I was able to do that and grind it smooth I had to really feel it I had to really really feel that in but um, that's been holding up good I don't have as many hours on that but uh, I think that's this really steady this this is what really impressed me I did not expect this to hold hold up good but it has well there you go guys I mean that's it's it's on there never I don't think it's as strong as original but it'll get there um, this you know if you want to know this failed because the bolt had fallen out and it had allowed the transmission just to tweak too much so be able to put that bolt back in this should be good so another tip is is fight the urge if you're using this stuff fight the urge once you kind of get it melted on there to come back after it's cooled and to reheat it up it actually it just doesn't it wants to pull away once you, if you try to do a second reheat i've been really impressed with it is you know first couple times i tried it i didn't really i kind of just perused the direction i but i sat down i read the directions completely and that's when i learned how to do it but and trial and error so hopefully you guys like that you know leave me a comment below rate comment and um don't subscribe. Yeah, do subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.